Come along for the ride in the brand new Diamond DA50 as we fly to the airport where it all began. First flight airport located in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. Today we're accompanied by Diamond Aircraft Test Pilot Jared, who's dreamed about visiting First Flight since he earned his pilot's license. Yeah, I'm so excited for this. You have no idea. Well, let's hand it over to Sharon as she preps us for takeoff. Rally clearance, Diamond 150 Romeo Golf. Is it Romeo Golf? Rally clearance. Diamond 150, Romeo Golf, we are a Diamond DA50, looking for a VFR over to Foxtrot, Foxtrot Alpha, at 5,500 feet. He's probably like, what kind of plane is that? Romeo Golf, maintain VFR at or below 2,000, departure frequency 125.3, squawk 5343. Zero Romeo Golf, uh, maintain at or below 2,000, 125.3, departure frequency 5343 on the squawk, Zero Romeo Golf. Diamond Zero Romeo Golf, read back, correct? Cool, 5-3, 4-3, 3, 3, 3 Precastering so, those like you're 40, okay. but it has a giant centering spring on it, so you're going to need lots of brakes. All right, got so, you. More than you'd think. More than you think. We're all ready to go, so you can ask yeah, for taxi, go we'll, all the way to the runway if you're comfortable. Yep. I'll talk you through configuring it. Absolutely. For the takeoff, full power, I really want you to focus on the runway and keep the center line with your feet, and I'll provide little tips to help you too if, if need be. Awesome. Awesome. I'll uh, pull over to Juliet 3, and then we'll get our taxi clearance. Yeah. That's cool so, with you. Yeah. Right, um, get it rolling first. Ooh, that's a smooth throttle. I like. So, All on right. the takeoff yep. roll, rotate very gently, please. Okay. What's the rotation speed on this 66. One? 66. Nice. And then... Greater than 80 knots in the climb, we'll get it all cleaned up, and then we'll probably climb out at 100 or okay. more. Okay. Rally ground, I'm 150 Romeo Golf, holding short, Juliet 3, ready for taxi. Number 150 Romeo Golf, rally ground, runway 23 left, taxi via Juliet Alpha 7, 8 is Whiskey's current. Uh, taxi 23 left via Juliet Alpha 7, we have Whiskey 0 Alpha Golf. Zero Romeo Golf, towers 127.45 at the end. Welcome to tower 6, Zero Romeo Golf. It's got so much torque that it turns one way faster or better than the other. Okay. So Man, you can just feel the power of that engine now. Mm. <laughs> I don't hate that. Have you ever thrown a 300 horsepower engine, Sharon? So I flew the 50 in Austria, but other than that, no, that's it. Well, yeah. I've flown jets and king airs, but that doesn't really count. <laughs> All right, taxi yeah, lights off, lane lights, lights on. You can bump to the ramp, contact the ramp tower. Uh, take off. Oh, you got with, uh, with Thank the ramp you. Fuel pump on. Rally really tower, I'm at 150 Romeo Golf, holding short, 2-3 left, ready for departure. November 150, Romeo Golf, Rally Tower, runway 23 left, turn left heading 160, cleared for takeoff. Left heading 160, cleared for takeoff, see Romeo Golf. Alright, feet on the floor, smoothly accelerate with full power. First flight, here we come. Alright, there's 45, airspeed alive, engine's green. Delta 664, contact departure today. Go ahead and rotate slowly. Thanks. Slow to start. Off the right rudder. all trimmed out on your heading that you want and yep. then once you're there you're going to pull it back to 90 percent power okay you feel how much off? you feel how much rudder yep you need? i do so feel that go ahead and let's just get some of that rudder trim in there and we'll leave these on the whole time okay so right here oh gotcha yep you feel it and then you've got your trim indication here so you know where it's at yes so, so, departure today. Departure golf today. what would you say for someone to keep in mind of the most in the transition from, say, a 40NG to this airplane. Both complex and high performance. Yep. So, a certain level of comfort with the retractable gear. We also have cowl flaps on this, but we'll leave those until we get leveled off at our cruising altitude. There's no limitation on leaving the cowl flaps open, but we will gain three or four knots when we close them in cruise flight, which is nice. If you're looking to upgrade into something, you got a little more complexity with the high power and the gear that you have to look out for. Right. I'd say this is probably the most stable diamond that we make so for hand flying this is probably the best one if i was going to hand fly an imc i would definitely take this one so Crazy. it's going to want a bootload of left rudder when you get into cruise i feel that so you've got that 
And then I also want you to pull the power back to 70, 70%. All right, 70%, there we go. The rudder trim is really critical, so yeah. as with any high-performance airplane, it's kind of important that we use our feet more than our ailerons to keep it straight. Yeah, I'm so excited for this. Oh, it's <laughs> yeah. going to be so fun. You have no idea. So before I was even a pilot, my dad was super into airplanes, so he would take us everywhere. I went to first flight for the first time in, like, 2017. At this point, I was like thinking of, you know, becoming a pilot. I drove in and I was like, this is so cool. Next time I come here, I'm going to fly myself. I'm not going to come back until I fly myself. And then during instrument training, um, on my long instrument cross country, we did the RNAV 2 one as one of the approaches and that just felt so good. That's such a cool kind story. Kind of a full circle moment. Kill Devil Hills, first flight airport, Wright Brothers National Memorial. Automated weather observation, 2-0-2-2, Zulu weather, wind, 2-5-0, at Niner, gust, 1-6, visibility, 1-0. Runway, yeah, 2-1 is right traffic. We'll uh, put the gear faster. down, midfield downwind, 3 green, most important thing. And before we put the gear down, we're going to check speed, lower gear speed, then gear down. Yep. Same thing with flaps, flap speed, speed's good, flaps down. Yep, cool. First flight traffic, Devon 150, Romeo Golf, uh, about two and a half miles uh, off the airport at 3,500 feet, doing a 360. I'll be entering the uh, right downwind for runway 21, first flight. Should be good just to roll into the downwind here. Oh. First flight traffic, uh, Devon 150, Romeo Golf, entering right downwind, runway 21, first flight. So don't rush, yourself the in. Nose. <laughs> don't rush yourself in too tight. Okay. Get yourself yep. a nice long final to get stable never landed the airplane before, so there's no reason to, to hot dog it in. Good point. So, you go ahead and lower the gear when you're ready. All right, gear is coming down. And remember your rudder trim. Help All you right. out so you're not struggling with the airplane too much. All right, three green. Three green, pumps are on, brakes are off. You go ahead and put a one notch of flaps now too to help you get a little bit more yeah. side over the nose. First notch flaps coming We'll wait till we're on final for the last notch. All right, what are your approach speeds here? Okay, so so get it trimmed out for 80 when we're in close. Power for the spot on the runway you want to touch down on. Fly it to the runway at 80. We'll pull the power off when we get close. All right. I, too, am I too tight in here? It's hard to know on the turn radius on this thing. You can always go around. <laughs> I love Good it. Point. First light traffic to 150, Romeo Golf, turning right base from 81, first light. All right, it's going to be about 95 in here. Yeah, 90. You don't want to run it out of energy, but you also don't want to be too fast. Right, exactly. Oh yeah, we're going to just keep the turn going. And you can go ahead and roll on that last notch of flaps. We can catch it with a little bit of power. Up. And it'll whistle at us. That's what this airplane does, three green. First light traffic, double off zero make off, turning final runway two one, first light. All right, so nice and stable, 80 knots down to the runway. All right. Flight's I don't know if there's wires high. there or what the deal is with that, so we're okay, I guess. So go ahead and pull some power out and slow down. Yep. And in high, but also short fields just gave me a little bit high. Yep. But 80. How's your trim feel for 80? Uh, feels pretty good. Okay. Still a little fast, pulling some power back. Adjusting for right. the crosswinds. Uh, bump in a little bit of power, actually. I don't know if those okay. are high-tension lines or what they are. All right. Once we get past these wires, go ahead and pull the power out. Okay. Pull it to idle. Pull the power to idle. And just maintain an 80 knots. Maintain an 80. Now bump in some power. Yep, I'm going to say that sinks out quick. And we'll fly it all the way to the runway. Yep. Runway's over here. Bump in some power. Yep. Here we go. Here we go. Now pull it out. Pulling it out. Fly it all the way to the runway. Nice, you got it? Very good. Yep. Very nice. That's a sneaky little bumpy approach there with the trees and... Yeah, those power lines right there. <laughs> so there you have it. A complete DA-50 flight from a major airport to a short 3,000 foot beach runway. And we helped Jared fulfill his dream to visit First Flight for the first time. If you enjoyed this kind of content, like and subscribe to support us producing videos just like this one. Until next time, Keep on flying.